When you have a demon, it's inward. It's oppression inwardly. And you can try to resist the devil, but he's not fleeing because you need the anointing to destroy the yoke. That's why so many people try to fast and pray, try to reject the devil a million times, try to do all the right things, but nothing's happening, no results. Why? Because it is the anointing that's needed to make the demon go, simple. But then once you're free, now you're like every other believer who's free, where you are in a spiritual war. And the way the devil comes in the spiritual war is outwardly. Weapons formed against you, but they don't prosper if you don't allow them. Weapons come as lies, but they're outward. And if you do the right spiritual principle, the right spiritual act of what God's calling you to do, those weapons won't prosper. And the devil has to flee. He can't come in and you win. You have victory. That's how it works in the spiritual realm. So before when you were in bondage, the, the insomnia was bondage. You were stuck with it. It was real. The anxiety, the depression, the suicidal thoughts was bondage. It was real. It was something you had to live with every day, no matter what you did, no matter how many times you tried to reject the devil, you were stuck. It was real. Demons were within. You were in bondage. But now once you are free, devil comes in this familiar way. Insomnia, maybe. The thoughts, uh, su suicidal thoughts, depression, anxiety, sickness. But this time it's not inward. It's not demons inside. You are not in bondage this time anymore. It is, de it is a devil coming outwardly, which means you have the power to resist him and those weapons formed against you won't prosper. Meaning, yes, you feel this familiar symptoms, but you can stop it right now. This is not something that continues. Yes, you're feeling the uncomfortability of that scary weapon coming towards you, but it's not lasting. It's uncomfortable for a second, but you go to battle and you have victory and it's done. And you continue to live the free life that you truly have been given from Jesus. So yeah, that was annoying to deal with that one night you couldn't sleep with those thoughts that came to you out of nowhere. But you go to battle, you resist the devil, and it's done. You continue walking in your freedom, you go to glory to glory, and you pass the test, and you go higher.